In just a few short hours, NASA's Artemis 1 will come back down to Earth. The unmanned spacecraft is closing out its 25-day voyage around the moon. It coincidentally comes 50, day, 50 years to the day after the final Apollo moon landing in 1972. The aim of this mission has been to test navigation, power, and computer systems in a deep space environment. Today's landing will put the spacecraft's heat shield through the paces. If all goes well, a crewed Artemis II flight around the moon could come as early as 2024. Let's bring in Keith Cowing, uh, editor at spaceref.com. Keith, a pleasure to have you on the show today. Happy to be here. Yeah, you must be really excited. We're, the countdown is on just under about, just about four hours away now. Artemis One set to return to Earth after a month in space. Uh, talk to us about what happened during this mission. What's been accomplished so far? Well, I was in high school the last time this happened, so it's a little, <laughs> I've been waiting a long time to see it happen again. <laughs> What's going to happen is the spacecraft, and again, it's on a mission to test all the systems to be sure that they work when we fly humans in the next flight. And it's going to be coming back to Earth at about 25,000 or 40,000 kilometers per hour, 25,000 uh, miles per hour. Six, it's going to hit the Earth's five, atmosphere, but this time it's going to skip start. like a rock on a lake. Three, that helps two, it slow down. One. And then it will come in and land just off the coast of California. Of so it, that it sounds together, simple, but it's probably the, the most oh, nail-biting aspect of this entire mission other than launch. Right. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the fact that the heat shield is such a big concern here. Let's talk about why. How hot could it get? It gets to about 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius, it's, which is approaching the, the temperature of the surface of the sun. Now, we, we do this all the time with spacecraft that come back in, but this one's coming in rather fast, and it's uh, there's no really margin for error. It's going to come in, skip, and come down. So that heat shield has to work perfectly. And they've tested it in some furnaces at NASA where it survived just fine. So it should be okay, but this is about, all about how they aim it. Right, and so 5,000 degrees uh, Fahrenheit for our Canadian viewers, I, th I believe that's 3,000 degrees Celsius. Very, very hot. It sounds worse <laughs> in Fahrenheit, that's I have to tell you, Keith. Rather hot in both countries, yes. Yeah, yes. exactly. Um, let's talk about the fact that, you know, you're bringing it up, this marking the, an the 50th anniversary of the last moon landing. How important is it for NASA to be back in the, 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 the moon exploration game? Well, it's not, again, it's not just NASA this time. When I was, again, watching this in high school, it was us versus the rush of the Soviets, and it was all a big race and geopolitics and all that. And Europe and Canada were like, yeah, we're here too. But now it's different because uh, on the Artemis mission, there's something called the Artemis Accords, which is an agreement with a number of nations. I think it's 18 or 20 at this point, including Canada, Europe, Japan, a whole bunch of countries, all working together. And as part of the Artemis program, Canada is going to have one of its famous robotic arms on the Gateway Station. Seven, and I wouldn't be six, surprised if we saw five, a Canadian on the moon in one of the first start. missions. So for NASA, it's important because, you know, we're going back. But this time we're going back with a lot of friends in a global way. And hopefully the word sustainable is used in that we're going to go back and then go back and go back and build up a capability on the moon instead of just going to visit and staying home for half a century. Right. And so when do you think the next real moon mission is going to be? Well, this is all about budgets. and yeah, It really is. It's kind of a weird thing. They have to take out some parts of this spacecraft and use it in another because it was a budget decision. And that means it's probably going to be 20. It's going to be 2024 ish. Let's just say that gives you 365 days to aim for. But um, it's sooner rather than later. I think all the pieces have improved more or less to work. So it's just a matter of cobbling them together and putting four people inside and Going around the moon. Okay. It's going to be exciting. Keith, Keith Kelling, editor of spaceref.com. Thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure.